Hey, if you're looking to do some cine modding of your lenses, which is these gear rings right here, I'm gonna show you where to get them dirt cheap, save you a bunch of money, and you can do a whole bunch of your lenses. Come right back. Now, if you're not familiar with cine rings, they allow us to use a follow focus to move the lens and focus. However, I'll tell you, in winter, I actually find this extra rubber ring here is great when you've got gloves on, it really makes the grip easier. And you might even find just with your hands, it makes the grip easier to focus. So there's kind of a double sort of benefit to them in my opinion. Now I love these gear rings so much and I've been looking around for them and I'm seeing prices of like 20 and 30 bucks for gear rings on eBay, which is just insane. I found a bunch for $2 each on B&H Photo, and I bought a whole box, a whole bunch of these things. These are made by Tilta, which is a great brand name. These are solid gear rings, all rubber, just great quality for two bucks. So I bought a whole box full and paid $8 shipping. So for the grand cost of 12 bucks, I can... Hey, did I say 12 bucks? No, that they, the math doesn't add up. See, I've always told you I'm bad at math. It was more than $12. $12 makes no sense if it was $8, $8 shipping, forget it. Anyways, it was under $30. I got a whole box and a whole bunch of them. It's just a no brainer. Two bucks, guys. And the great thing is at the B&H Photo website, they've got a whole bunch of popular lenses. So you can go down and see where your lens is and know exactly the right size gearing to get. That's super helpful. Oh, link down below. I've never been more excited about rubber gear rings. That's this week's gear in two minutes. Hey, if you love this video, if you found it helpful, then please smash that like button, subscribe and follow along for my journey where I'll share more great budget ideas for your filmmaking journey.